Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing an obsidian knife from a preform. Let's get into it. So I've been sent this obsidian preform. I've just done a couple of little test flakes, so we're going to zigzag this, make it into a nice knife blade. Switching over to a little channel pad, hopefully cast some longer flakes because I'm coming on this side. really do not want this to snap. This is why I'm going very gently. <laughs> There's quite a lot of early termination, so I'm going to have to get rid of all this, probably on my second pass. Just don't want to thin it down too much. Um, but that's this side. Start working on this side, and then on a, on a second pass I should hopefully obliterate all that. And then um, we'll be on to serrating it, thinning it down, turning it into a natural blade. Yeah, it's really pretty. Gorgeous bit of obsidian. So I may have snookered myself a little bit of an island, which I'm a little bit worried about. But just got to keep ploughing. See if I can get the last of it off. It's really frustrating now that I've sort of making myself a little island. The trouble is when you're going in off the 90 like this, off the 90 degree angle, you want to, um, if it'll focus. Yeah, you want to try and push in as well as down rather than just down, because down is going to sh shoot a short flake that's going to terminate early, whereas pushing in will cut across the face and shoot a much longer flake. So as you're pulling these Casting these flakes off the 90 like this with the pressure flaker, especially with copper, you kind of want to go in and down. 
I might switch over to an antler pressure flaker and see if I can get some longer shooting flakes. Just going to switch over the antler. Little of breeding room. I've still got quite a lot of that in the middle, so I'm a bit annoyed at it to be honest. I'm going to have to sacrifice quite a lot of blade material. I mean, it's a big enough blade that I can get away with doing that, but I did kind of want it to be a big one. And not a small one so but yeah let's turn this into a, a knife or a dagger I haven't decided yet probably a dagger to be fair because I'm gonna need to come off that spine side so it probably will be a dagger but Pretty gorgeous obsidian, isn't it?